It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. <laughs> no more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Well, the weeks roll by and our contestants still haven't earned enough maths cards to gain their freedom. Don't you want to go home? <coughs> well, you can't. Not until you've learnt enough maths. No leaving without learning. Oh, no. It's that other programme breaking through again. It's that sad man. Hello. Do you like buns? Well... These are times table current buns with multiplication signs on the top. And I think Decimol is going to like them. How did I know Decimol would like them? Because I know Decimol will eat anything, yes. And just like times tables, use what you know to work out what you don't know. <laughs> right, Decimol? <laughs> oh. I'll take that as a yes! <laughs> Ugh, well, that was very sad. Let's have some warm-up questions that are very bad. I'm Hannah Edwards from Croydon. I'm Ashley Hall from Reading. Easy one to start with. What's five times six? I don't know my six times table. Well, use something that you do know to work out something that you don't know. Five times six is the same as six times five. I know that six times five is 30. Correct. Next contestant, what is nine times four? I could swap it, but I don't know my nine times table or my fours. We'll find something that you do know. Tens. Four times 10 is 40. That's one lot of four less than 10 times four. 36. Yes, it's going well. Until now, we've got a hap hap happy way of using what we do know to work out something we don't. If you were doing times five, you might well know that five times five is 25. So six times five is one more five, which is 30. And in the same way, four times five is one less five, which is 20. And it's the same with the sixes. Oh, it's so exciting. Use what you know to work out what you don't. If you know six times six is 36, then you can work out that seven times six is one more six, which is 42. Oh, it's all getting so clever. And five times six is one less six. And that's 30. Oh, hello, Decimal. What have you got for us today? A hap hap happy box for me? Oh. <laughs> OK, Katrina. Right, move your hand to four times three. Four times three. Um... Work out two times three and then double it. So two times three is six and double six is twelve. Well done. Now put your foot on one times nine. One times nine, Pixie, nine. OK, Nicola, your go. Move your leg to hmm, four times seven. Four times seven, that is... Two times seven is... Fourteen. Double it. Twenty-eight. You've got it. OK, Jink. Your turn, Jink. 
put your hand on ten times three. It's the same as three times ten. That's right. Put your other hand on five times three. Five times three, that was me. Three lots of five. Uh, Fifteen. Well done. Well, I tell you what, you keep balancing and I'll see you again in an hour. Break it, break it. When you're on the multiply, break it. Make it to what you, breaking it, breaking it up. If you had to multiply six times eight and you didn't know what to do, don't try to multiply all at once. Break it up into two. Cause five times eight is eight times five, and eight times five is 40, and one times eight equals eight, and them both together makes 48. Break it, break it. When you want to multiply, break it, make it. To what you, breaking it, breaking it up. If you had to multiply nine by seven, then you didn't know what to do. Don't try to multiply all at once, break it into two. Cause 10 times 7 is 70, and 1 times 7 is 7. Take that 7 from 70, so 9 times 7 is 63. Break it, break it, breaking it, breaking it up. Are you ready for the test? Because the test is ready for you. OK, what's 6 times 7? 6 times 7 is 1 more 7 than 5 times 7, which is 35. Add 1 more 7 to 35 makes 42. OK, Ashley Horn, tell me another way of working out 6 times 7. I don't know. Well, you could try doubling. OK, I know my 3s. So 3 times 7 equals 21. If I double 21, it becomes 42. That's good. Next, 8 times 8. I don't know my 8 times table, but I do know my 2 times table. 2 times 8 is 16. Double it again, 4 times 8 is 32. And again, 8 times 8 is 64. Right, but too late. 8 times 8 is 64 but no maths card for you this week. Could you have got it right in the time? Try this. Find three ways of working out what five times nine is. And remember, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone out there? Help! Get me out of this box! 